Welcome back folks, I'm Z, and today we are finishing up the Sun Palace. So we started exploring the Sun Palace in the previous episode, and we have to try to get, um, like, a tower going, so that way we can get the caretaker to see what's going on with the sun exactly. And, uh, we're just in the aqueducts, which is basically like the sewer line. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot to explore and that's why I had to divide up some, the Sun Palace into two episodes. And we barely made, barely made it to this treasure chest. Awesome. <laughs> Platforming is hard. Every second counts. Um, I don't have that monster yet. The purple rat looking one. Um, but I can't, I can't beat it fast enough to try to get its egg. Alright, so we have a lot of switches here, and they all activate some sort of, like, um, mechanism. And it's just, it's a lot to take in at first. But I think I figured out what we need to do. Uh, if we go up here, I think we can activate that switch right there. And, uh, okay. I think that was the right thing to do. Now we just have to go to the other side of that switch. Ah, there we go. There we go. And we made it. Now we just have to actually get up there. <laughs> Ah, uh, that did it. Okay, I think that one opens up the very top left right there. And, oh, come on. <laughs> Platforming is so hard. We got this. And there we go. Oh, we opened up the last switch. So a lot of trial and error. Um, and also just trying to get used to what the switches do. So, I mean, if this takes you a long time to do, don't get too frustrated. Get a little frustrated and then, like, get over it. <laughs> um, oh, hello. It's a monster champion. Um, let's fight it. Uh, uh, okay, so it's, it's weak to deep buffs, but... I also want to go for sustainability because this thing can actually damage my mad eye pretty hard. Um, and my mad eye would just be a glass cannon in this scenario. Um, let's... Oh, I... Okay, so it, it can cause chill and shock. Which is kind of scary. Um... <laughs> But not bad. I'm I'm doing okay. How is everyone doing? I know I ask this in like every video, but I'm I'm also curious how everyone is doing. So don't ever be afraid to let me know how your day is going. I know this thing is weak to debuffs, and the only debuff I have on it is armor break so far. Um. Oh, tackle. Okay. Lightning bolt. Okay, well, finally, a monster that attacks my tank. <laughs> Most monsters don't attack the tank that I have in the front. Right, uh, we're not we're not doing too bad, especially since I have two stacks of regenerate. Well, three on my tank. I I, I say my tank because I don't know its name. I forgot. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know what its name is. Um. <laughs> But it looks like a tree. That's about it. <laughs> um, okay, so the debuffs, 
the blah 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 blah. <laughs> the debuffs I have are armor break and two stacks of weakness. I think the horse's name is Chillin. <laughs> or is it Killin? <laughs> it's Q-I-L-N-I. -I. Um Let's just say his name is Chillin. Okay, I'm I'm just glad that this um, champion can't stack shock or chill. Because if it stacks chill, then there's literally nothing I can do. I don't have anyone who can get rid of debuffs. Well, I have a uh, Caraglow who uses restore. And Restore can get rid of debuffs. Forgot about that. <laughs> but I haven't trained Caraglow, so... Caraglow isn't the best for now. But maybe later on. Okay, I'm, I'm doing fairly well. It's just It's just taking a long time because I'm not using any of the... Champion's weaknesses against it, which are debuffs, um, like shock, poison, burn. Um, and I'm not using my mad eye, but that's okay. <laughs> Slow and steady. So the Monster Hunter Rise demo has come out, and I've been playing it here and there. Um, the Insect Glaive, still definitely my favorite, and then right behind that has to be the Hunting Horn, which is like a huge hammer that you use to like beat up a monster while playing songs. I guess it's like hunting monsters while being a bard. It's really fun. Um, and I've tried using the bow, I just I don't know how to use the bow properly. Um, it's a major change going from Generations to rise because I'm not used to the mechanics. If I was able to play World or Iceborne, then maybe I would have a better understanding of how to use it. Um, or maybe I'll just look up like a tutorial from World or Iceborne. But where's the fun in that? Um, <laughs> of course, I won't have to struggle as much since this, the resource is out there. Yeah, I'll figure it out. And we took down the monster champion, Chillin'. We got raw hide. Okay. Yeah, we were definitely not going to get that egg on the first try. And we are a keeper lancer. Awesome, awesome. I I didn't even realize that we were close to increasing our rank like that. And yes, we are raising the tower. Even higher! I think we only have one more to go. One more level. Um, hi, caretaker. Seems like you've had success once more. However, we need to get even closer to the. There's an opportunity to drain. Okay. Yes, so we are going to drain the water by one more level. We have a lot of exploring to do. And then we can figure out what's happened to the sun exactly. He says the sun's not shining as bright as normal. And something is peculiar. Something is out of the ordinary. So when- oh, hi chest. Um, reward box. So when I heard the word extraordinary, was it extraordinary? No, the word exceptional. When you hear the word exceptional, it, it, it doesn't, I mean, the, the, the first time I heard it, I didn't think it meant what it meant. Um, the word exceptional, you, you hear accept, uh, and you would think, oh, like, if something is exceptional, then maybe it's passable. It just barely satisfies the criteria for something. Um, 
But no, exceptional means that something is perfect or wonderful or amazing. Um, and <laughs> that doesn't sound like exceptional to me. <laughs> exceptional sounds like something is barely passable. But I don't know. I digress. It's okay. I'm just, I'm spewing nonsense. I'm just talking. Oh, there's a chest. And it's a monster bell. Okay, let's see what's over here. Another chest that I can't reach. Oh well. Okay. Um, oh, hello monsters. Ah, this is the last switch we needed. And that completes the tower, basically. The tower to the sun. Alright, well, let's be on our way. And, uh, yes. I think Armtail is my favorite monster to use outside of battle. <laughs> because, I mean, he's, he's so cool. He's cool looking. I like his color scheme. And he's a kangaroo. And he has a derpy tongue. <laughs> Alright, so I read somewhere in a comment section in someone else's videos um, that if you light up this pipe, you can fight a monster. <laughs> a monster champion. I forgot where I read this. Um, but this was some, some time like before I was even recording this. Um, it's weak to earth. Should I focus? I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go on. Alright, we got some buffs going on. What? Oh, you know what it is? I don't have a monster that can... That has an ability to stack multiple buffs of... Regenerate. Wow, that's a lot of debuffs from Mad Eye. That's so OP. Oh my gosh. We have Burn, Armor Break, Weakness, and Chill. Four debuffs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the tank I was using before allowed me to stack multiple buffs of um, regeneration. But since I'm using a different um, tank, I don't have that luxury anymore. But that's okay. Um, I'm doing fairly well now. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm glad he didn't use explosion on Mad Eye. That would have done at least double the damage. <laughs> yeah, my Mad Eye has a lot of MP now. A lot of mana. I forget which one. I think it's mana, yeah. Um... So I don't have to worry about my Mad Eye running out of mana, so I can use the strongest attacks. Yeah, without having to worry about mana. Okay, calm down, monster. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing fairly well against this uh, champion. Do, do, do. If you're if you're wondering where I got Targoat, um, I got him in Snowy Peaks. I just haven't gotten footage of it yet. I mean, I have footage of it. I just haven't edited it yet. Um, like I said, like like the Magma Caverns or Magma Chambers, I wanted to keep the Sun Palace the same. Um, I did a little backtracking, but I wanted to keep the journey of the Sun Palace consistent. And so part two, I kind of went and did a little more grinding and then I came back to complete the Sun Palace. Oh, we got a pipe. <laughs> I think that's an accessory. Awesome. Uh, what if we light it again? No, okay, we can't, we can't fight it again. That's okay, that's okay. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with how that fight went. I didn't do amazing, like five stars, but I mean, still pretty good. Um, hello. Um, 
<laughs> I can't stop looking at Arm Tail. His his tongue is so derpy. <laughs> There was a masked man who called himself Zosimos. We fought. He defeated me and my monsters, but it was entirely my fault. I wasn't thinking clearly. After the fight, he took my koi with him. I don't know how. <gasps> he took your koi? Wait, what do you mean it's too late? Is he gonna do something? What's gonna happen? These alchemists, they need to stop taking people's- <gasps> Wait, Koi looks different. He's darker than usual and a little more pale. Like he's lost his color. What? Wait, the, sh the sun is shifting? What do you- <gasps> It's black. Well, technically it's purple. With the, with the hint of black. All right, let's fight. <gasps> Are you going to use Koi against us? That's not even fair. He's not even yours. You don't deserve to use Koi. That makes me so sad. Oh my gosh. Um, Mad Eye, should we use? Because they're weak to magic. Meow. Okay. Let's, let's use Mouth for for now, so we can at least try to get like a head start. Um, and then once his team is a little weaker, we can probably throw in Mad Eye and go for the kill. Because I don't want to throw out my strongest monsters first and then just have them end up dying. That that may or may not be a very good tactic. Considering Meowth is the one that saved me last time. Um, in my last Keeper duel against an Alchemist. Oh, okay! Yeah, no, that's perfect! Oh my gosh! <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess we'll just do Spectral Flame. <gasps> whoa, whoa, okay. Um, I didn't think I'd be this strong. <laughs> I'm not, like, super over-leveled, am I? Because I thought the locations scale according to what your level is. Or, like, whatever the highest level is of the monster on your team. Okay, may okay I might be a little over-leveled. <laughs> Just a little. That's okay. <laughs> Boom! Critical hits! what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's take out that guy. Um, I don't want to deal with your poisoning anymore. Shield cast. Okay. Spectral wave. Okay, wow, this fight was a lot easier than I thought. Um, but like I said, I think it's because I went and I... Uh, I did a little over leveling. <laughs> That's okay. I'm showing off the fight. No, I'm not that over leveled. What am I talking about? They're level 26. Um, I think my highest is like level 28 or level 29. So it's not like I'm super over leveled. I just happen to have strong monsters. <laughs> Gemstone rain. Death troll way. Uh, yeah, these guys aren't doing anything. So, if I understand this shift mechanic, then every single monster has a shift variant. Um, it's kind of like a shiny system in a sense. Um, but basically, these shift variants give your monsters like special buffs. So, Koi. He looks to be like a dark shift. Um, there are only two. There's light and there's dark. I don't know what Koi's dark shift gives him, but I have Targoat here who is light shifted. So basically, whenever he gets a stack of, I think it's charge, then he also gives um, a portion of those stacks to his teammates as well. 
And I think that's why I did so well in this battle, is because um, those stacks that Targoat gave its allies and I was doing extra damage, because I think each stack of charge gives you 1% increase in damage. The sun is still changed, what should we do now? It is as I feared, the shifting cannot be stopped. What will happen now? Will turn dark, but that is only the beginning. All of the monsters that live in the wilds, the nature will shift towards the darkness, they will become more aggressive. Koi. Oh, they're reunited. Koi. Oh, he's in the darkness now. That's right, he's still the same Koi, even though he's changed unwillingly. Why is he going towards the sun? Oh my gosh! <gasps> no! Koi! Oh my gosh, he actually sacrificed himself! Oh... He became one with the sun! It's now balanced. My, but also there could be a light shift in monsters sometimes. Okay, so any wild. <gasps> Wait, what? Two eggs of the same kind. The circle of life has begun anew. These eggs are koi eggs. <gasps> oh, oh, you're gonna give me one? <gasps> it's like yin and yang, the fish. You want to give me another reward? There's another way to shift a monster. This shift dome can be used to either light or dark. Yeah. That's how I got a light targo. I used a shift stone. I forgot where I got it, but um, I used it. Um, <laughs> depending if you light shift or dark shift it. Okay. Shift stones are very rare, but you might find more of them across the sanctuary. All right. No, I don't. I don't think I did anything. It was coy. I mean, sure, I stopped the alchemist, but ultimately, it was coy who saved the monster sanctuary. I mean, yeah, we definitely wouldn't be here if it weren't for coy. Oh. Um, I'm all sentimental now. Oh my gosh, Koi. Oh, so that's your light shift and that's your dark shift. Okay, you look pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you have some pretty cool skills too. Water, you're, you're definitely magical based, but you also have, it looks like a lot of buffs. Um. Yeah, you have heals, and wow, Phoenix Affinity, okay. Um, wow, Koi, you're amazing. Alright folks, well thank you so much for joining me on this journey to the Sun Palace. I hope you enjoyed this video, and just getting to see Koi. <laughs> Koi was definitely the MVP of this video. Well, I hope to see you in the next video, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Boop.